Greetings, Mason Storm here. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the moist bake method for cooking chicken and broccoli. Stay tuned. We're going to start off with some basic spices. One teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. One teaspoon of basil. One teaspoon of paprika. And half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder. We're going to use two cups of chicken broth for our liquids. I've got probably three cups of broccoli here and two chicken breasts. The process is going to begin by combining our spices and seasonings in a single bowl. And once they're all combined into the bowl, we're simply going to use the old fork and proceed to mix them continuously until they are combined. Of course, you probably want to mix them a little bit better than I did here. They were still a little bit unmixed. It looked good, but it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. And now we'll get out our pan. You want something kind of a little bit deeper because we're going to put foil over the top and you'll see. It's pretty good. So we got our chicken in there. So now I'm just going to add my broccoli. And once we have our broccoli in, I'm just going to kind of distribute it a little bit. You don't really want your broccoli sitting on top of your chicken because it can kind of leave an imprint when it cooks and that just isn't the greatest of things. So then we cover it with some spices and as you can see it wasn't quite mixed uh, to the level it should have been but and then we'll mix the rest of the spices on top of our broccoli mixture here and then proceed to add in our fluids. There we go. So you just have your meat so it's a little bit covered in the bottom and that really helps with the baking process because the moisture kind of stays in the package because of the foil and it makes for the chicken to be really nice and moist as well as tender it's just a great way of cooking chicken so we're gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour it takes a little bit longer with this cooking technique but it's pretty safe you can't really dry out your meat because it's all submerged and that's always fantastic and you can check its doneness using a thermometer just poke her in and make sure you're at the designated safety level for consumption and there you go this is an incredibly easy quick way to make quick as in the sense of labor required to create a meal I guess it's not really the quickest way to make chicken maybe next time we'll do it in a pressure cooker that's uh, that's speed chicken we can do the speed run that way that's just overly fantastic now we pretty much have a full meal here not quite so I'm just gonna make some rice to go with this but once you got some rice you got some broccoli you got some chicken you got yourself a nice full meal and the amount of time you spend the chick uh, spend in the kitchen wasn't very long and you really have something quite tasty at the end of all this so that's always good I used to make this uh, type of chicken a lot more often but they started injecting meat with fluids to increase the weight of it so having chicken dry out like it used to isn't as much of a problem as it used to be but still cooking your chicken in a little bit of water really goes a long way to uh, keeping it moist and using chicken broth instead of water really has more flavor and that's why I kind of prefer doing it this way it's kind of a just throw it in and forget about it and you're good to go. Super easy, delicious meal. Minimal effort. Just the way I like it. So let me know in the comments below if you have any secret family techniques for cooking chicken. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.